Hey guys, this is Suns Fan with a spotlight video for Timbersaw. I know they think I'm crazy, and, and that's okay. They didn't see what I saw, okay? See what the trees did. Oh, it's nature. Look at the beauty of the forest. Lies. That's not a tranquil jungle. That's a sleeping army. And unless we are prepared, when that forest starts to march, it will be the end of everybody. Timbersaw is an uncommon red hero with 4 attack and 11 health. He comes with a passive ability named Reactive Armor, which will provide Timbersaw with the amount of armor equal to how many units are attacking him. Timbersaw's signature card is the 2 mana spell Whirling Death, which will deal 2 damage to a red hero's enemy neighbors. In addition, those units will have minus 2 attack for the rest of the round. Timbersaw's HP is quite high, but his damage is one of the lowest of any red hero. He does have a bit of a strange passive, but it definitely proves well in the tankiness department. Whirling Death on the other hand is quite good. Obviously positioning is key since it requires its use to be on a red hero. But if set up correctly, it can help limit damage to your allies, which will result in better pushing potential. This hero seems to be all about reducing damage and allowing his allies to control the board more easily. Anything that will provide damage for Timbersaw is nice, including, but not limited to, Combat Training, Tresden Standards, and Rising Anger. I also really like Pick a Fight. It takes advantage of your passive ability, and if your creeps are going head-to-head -head with other creeps, they'll end up winning out over time as a result. I also think Clear the Deck is quite good with Timbersaw, as it just continues to push the whole idea of keeping your creeps alive and clearing the lanes as much as possible. Timbersaw isn't especially good at killing heroes, so having that aspect in your deck can help quite a bit, especially if they're red. Heroes like Axe, Legion, Centaur, and Ursa can fit the build quite nicely. Tankiness is Timbersaw's biggest strength, so taking that away can be considered the biggest counter. Centaur's double edge is especially good at doing that to red heroes, along with Ursa's passive Fury Swipes. Getting Retaliate is an interesting concept for Timbersaw since you want units to hit you. This is where Barbed Mail comes into play. A damage source such as Stonehall Pike will be good since he's always just sitting in a lane. Blade of the Vigil is pretty cool as well, because when combining with Whirling Death, it'll allow you to kill your enemy neighbor creeps in one combat phase. To see the ratings of every card from professional players, be sure to visit artifaction.gg. If you want to be featured on this channel, you can also submit memorable clips you see on stream to us at artifaction.gg slash submit. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Artifact Cinema. Be sure to click that bell icon in order to get notified when we put up a new spotlight or guide.